I pause for a second, letting my chest settle down as I watch an ant skitter out of a little gap. I'm aware of the dirt stuck into the lines of my palm, but I still wipe the sweat off my forehead and tuck the loose strands of hair behind my ear anyway. I dig my fingers deeper into the jutting edge of the trunk, wedge the soles of my shoes a little tighter onto the branch, take a deep breath of dry, earthy air, and ignoring the rough edges of the bark scraping against my legs, I push off my feet, using my arms as support as I hoist myself up. With my back leaning against the sturdy trunk of the American sycamore, the warm sunlight shining on my face, and the cool breeze blowing out my hair. I see the tips of the wedwood trees where the crows like to hang out, and the bright blue sky dotted with a few wispy clouds. I feel like I'm standing at the top of the world, admiring a view meant only for me. From hooking my legs around the slick blue bars at the playground and seeing the world upside down, to crawling my way up level nines with sweaty hands and toe bruising indoor climbing shoes, to hauling myself through the fragile limbs of redwoods while getting tiny splinters stuck in my palms. Climbing has always been a part of my life. Climbing doesn't stem from my culture, but my dad was always there to support me as my passion for it grew. First of all, he was the one who taught me how to do the monkey bars, something I did with my friends every recess in elementary school, so much that I developed many calluses when my fingers met my palm. When I started indoor climbing, my dad gave me instructions, like where to put my foot or how to shift my weight when I was stuck. Most importantly though, he held me up and kept me climbing, both mentally and physically. The rest was my own will. As more and more scrapes and cuts appeared on my legs, which happened quite frequently, I earned the name Monkey and made climbing part of my identity. I love climbing because it transports me to a whole other world. When I climb, all the difficult things that squeeze my heart and make my eyebrows wrinkle up just disappear, getting left behind as I raise one foot after the other, one arm and then the next, up towards the sky. For me, climbing is kind of like stepping from a stuffy room into some cold morning air and taking a nice deep breath. But not only does it help me mentally refresh, Climbing things also gives me the way to let out my energy and exercise my body, which is especially good since I am the type of person who can't stay still for very long. Plus, climbing is not always easy. There are usually places where I get stuck or feel that I don't have the strength to keep going. Times when my fingertips turn white as I struggle to keep hold. My arm muscles are trembling and clenched hard my toes feel as if I've just finished ballet practice. Persevering through these challenges make me feel more courageous and proud of myself. This reminds me of a famous Chinese idiom, Sui Yi Shu Tuan, which literally translates into dripping water wears through stone. I think it means that as long as you don't give up and try your hardest, you will always be successful. When I put in all I have to defy gravity and heave myself to the top, the feeling of victory that emerges, complete with the rewarding scene that plays out in front of my eyes, may that be the raging waterfalls of Australia or the smiles on my friends' faces, makes all the hard work worth it. Through this chest-pounding, arm-flailing thing called climbing, I've learned that life is full of difficult times, but it is also important to have fun and forget about your worries sometimes, to take the time to pursue your passions and make memories. After all, I'm not always going to be so agile and able-bodied. Moments like being able to perch on a branch and see the bright full moon illuminating the night sky, or trace my fingers through the white dust coating the ceiling beam in the rock climbing gym, or hear my friends' encouraging cries might be something I will be longing for in the future. So I've got to make the most of it now and only focus on the next step up. Climb on.